Greetings and salutations everyone. I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review and as you see something quite large as we've got the Titan class Metroplex sitting here the Hasbro version. <clears throat> this is his vehicle mode as you can see and it's not going to be easy to show them off. I'm probably going to do is, is stop the camera take it off the tripod and actually you know walk around him and stuff. He is very large. I mean, he's even slightly bigger than Fortress Maximus. Which I will probably show off some point in time in this review. I'm going to try and make this quick because I know a lot of people have already reviewed him. And it's really hard to review a figure this large in the limited space that I have. I mean, I've got him. He's pretty much on my entire desk. So... We're going to do the best we can. I'm going to try and get all his modes. Uh, it's going to be hard to get his city mode on here. He's going to be hanging off a little bit, but we're going to do the best we can. So give me a second. I'm going to move the camera, and I'll come in close and zoom around him. <clears throat> Lighting's not going to be as good as normal because I have to have the lights a lot farther back than normal. But we'll do the best we can. All right. All right. Hold on. Alrighty, so we're going to start up near the top. As you see, he's got a little helicopter pad up there. You can see some of the stickering details that are put in on him in various spots. His head, that becomes a gun emplacement, as you can see. Scamper can sit up in here and, you know, do some various things. Here's his gun, his big gun does fire a missile in the front but you know most people know that yeah his arms are just hanging off the back but what can you do it's not much different from the original G1 I mean the original G1 did pretty much the same thing except you took the hands off you can see there's Scamper hiding out in there we'll take a look at him in a little bit and you can see here he's got like this this arm here for repairing things or whatever and some nice sticker detail going all the way down to the front. And you can see his, his wheels, his bigger wheels, and, and slightly smaller wheels in the back. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, this mode is probably fairly close to his G1 mode, though <clears throat> not as uh, refined, I guess you could say, or not as... I don't know. This this kind of looks like a launching pad for like airplanes and stuff. It is what it is. This is his vehicle battle station whatever mode. All right. I'm going to turn him into a city and then we'll do the same thing. We'll take a close up look at that. Be right back. All right. Now I've got him in his city mode or at least as best as I could in my small space. The legs are supposed to be spread out a lot more, but best I could do. You see, you get a bigger helipad over there, and I've got Blaze Master from Little Bumblebee set sitting there. <clears throat> Just like in G1, he has missile por ports right there. You see, the main gun becomes a tower. He's got another gun here that extends out of his one arm. And I've got, you know, Optimus sitting there. And that's who he scales well with, these Legends figures, the new ones. It's kind of what he was made for. And you see there's Roller in there. Some nice details in here. You know. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. And this chest piece opens up and comes down, but it doesn't quite reach the bottom. Um, normally the one leg is out of the way and it still doesn't reach the bottom so Scamper if you send him out of there he kind of takes a leap of faith. And one thing you can see is if you look really closely on the stickers there and I know this has been pointed out but you got G1 Bumblebee, Optimus and a couple other characters from G1 in there almost as if to say look there's actually transformers inside the city so that was a cool touch that sticker I, I really like that alright 
to come back up maybe give you a little overhead shot here all right I'm gonna put him into his robot mode because that's really the meat and potatoes of this review all righty I'll be right back Alrighty, before I go further with Metroplex, it's only fair that we look at Little Scamper here. Um, he's a Little Legends class himself. He's pretty cool. Nice little homage to the G1. I do have the G1. I'm not going to bring it out for this review. Simply because it just get too crowded in here and G1 only comes up to like Metroplex's knees. But he's a simple transformation. You know, you just see I'm doing it one handed here. Kind of extend him out a little. Flip all this down. And there's Scamper. In his robot mode. I know it's hard to see because my lights are not where I normally have them. But yeah, there you go. And he's a little tiny dude. See him right here by Metroplex's foot. He's barely bigger than Metroplex's foot. Yeah. He's pretty cool. Alright, leave him down here. Now we're going to come up slowly as we look at the giant robot. As you see, he is quite large as he's holding a little Optimus Prime in his hand. And you come up and you see that really cool Metroplex face. And his big gun on his shoulder with the missile that has a hair trigger. Some nice details that they put in. <clears throat> Articulation on him is kind of odd and it's hard to use. I'm not going to move him too much. His head goes back and forth. You know, his shoulders, they have the rotation as Optimus falls. They have the rotation. They go forward and back. They have ratchets in, in the elbows. The wrists rotate, the fingers are articulated, so you can do some rude stuff if you really feel like it. He has a waist joint. His knees are weak. I found some of these poses work well with him, some don't. And you know, we got, you know, cool Autobot symbols on him and Stuff like that. Now one of the main gimmicks with him is how his eyes can light up and I mean his eyes can move back and forth. I'm not going to show it off. It's kind of hard to capture with a camera. But trust me, there's a lever back here. You can move his eyes back and forth, but it only you can only see it when they're flashing and the lights are on. It's hard to do on camera. So and I sometimes have a hard time with the visor on mine staying put. It doesn't really go where it's supposed to. I kind of like having it up anyway. I like his eyes better. But we'll go through his sounds. Now a lot of these sounds and phrases come from the Fall of Cybertron game. Um, that's kind of what he's based off of. Though they took some liberties with it and made him slightly a, a more updated G1 version. Which I really like. I, I, I appreciate that. Because Metroplex was always one of my favorite G1 toys. And... Target Yeah. No, duh. With a gun like that? Why not? That's my favorite line right there. I think we've gone through them all. I'm not sure. Yeah. That's where we started at. Alright, so you see he's got a lot of phrases, a lot of sounds, a lot of real cool things you can do with him. Alrighty. 
Give me a minute. I'm going to go get Met uh, Fortress Maximus and we'll put him together just so you can see how much bigger he is. Be right back. Alrighty, everyone. Here you can see Metroplex standing next to Fortress Maximus. And he is maybe an inch, inch and a half taller. If you count the red, uh, the red antennas on his head. And it's, it's a nice comparison having both of these guys, um, the two largest Transformers ever made, and having them stand next to each other. So yeah, I recommend, if you can find Metroplex out there, you need to get him. He is an awesome figure. Hasbro really did a good job with this. I know there are other versions, like uh, from Japan and, and other exclusives that have a lot more chrome or come with two guns. The Hasbro version's fine. Don't go killing yourself spending a ton of money you don't need to to get the chromed out parts unless you really, really want them. Um, but yeah. So this has been my look at uh, this Generations Metroplex, this Titan class figure. And I hope we get more Titan class figures. It would be nice to see. Alrighty? Alright, everyone. You all be good. As you see, I've got two giants I can send after you now. That's right. Two giants. Later. Uh, so let me guess. You've decided you're going to review Metroplex. And you thought it would be funny to have him step on me. Right? Starscream, don't you trust me? Hell no. Why would I trust you? Blue boxes land on me. Unicron steps on me. Megatron blasts me all the time. You're bad for me. You know that. You're a Decepticon. You're already bad. Shut up. No, I'm not going to have Metroplex step on you. Well, that's a relief. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs>